Teach you how to make John Tunstall from Young Guns. Now, let's get right to it. And to be honest, I couldn't really do as well in this outfit as I could any of the other ones. Primarily because I couldn't find very many scenes on YouTube or screenshots on Google where I could actually see past his waist. So. It's kind of awkward to uh, get a bunch of the stuff right. But, let's go right into it. For hats, now I know that his hat is taller than Billy the Kid's in that movie. And Billy, for Billy the Kid, I used the bowler hat. So, for uh, John Tunstall, I went with the high derby hat in black. With the uh, silver band. Moving on, no eyewear, no masks, no bananas. For neckwear, I threw on the purple folded string tie. And it was kind of awkward to find one that didn't look like he just had like a scarf tied really tightly around his neck or something. Moving on, for coats, I went with the roller jacket in black. Primarily because I couldn't get a view, good view of his coat. For vests, I went with the paisley vest in gray because I know for a fact that his vest is pretty gray and this is the best thing I could find to really match his. Oh yeah, and about the uh, coat, I know it's supposed to be like a darker gray type color, but I couldn't find a good coat that had that. Like I was going to go with this, but then I realized that the only version of gray that they had was the dirty gray. And the only version of gray they had for this was this. And it didn't really look that good with the outfit, so. Bear with me. Uh, moving on for shirts. Now, originally I was going to go with the Everyday Over shirt in white, like this. But sadly, you can't put on neckwear with this, except for like handkerchiefs and stuff. Or neckerchiefs. So, ultimately, I went with the white French dress shirt. Moving on. No gauntlets, no suspenders, no gloves. No rings, no belts, no buckles. He doesn't wear a gun belt, so no, um, dealer's choice with this. I'm just going to recommend the sharpshooter because it looks fine and kind of matches the outfit the best. Um, pants, I went and threw on... Again, I couldn't really get a good view of any of the clothes he's had below his waist. So what I'm going to have to recommend is the black tuxedo pants. Moving on. No shaps, and for boots, I threw on the gaiters in black. And of course, no spurs. Now let's head over to the barber and I'll show you what hair and uh, mustache I'm using. Now, I'm not going to lie. I kind of hate the fact that this game isn't... I mean, online you can't really do as much as you can in single player because... If you could kind of just like set your hair color... Then... Like... Shave it like you do in single player, I wouldn't really mind that much. It would be a lot easier. But for hair... I just went with the knee left parted in color 8 because it's gray. And for facial hair, I went with the walrus in color 8 because it's gray. Well, I think you might be able to pull off the, the black one as well. And believe me, I looked for one that had a like stubble around it and I could not find one. Heck, the private might almost work. But like, yeah. That's going to be it for this one, um, guys. I do have plans to have more videos out soon, but I'm not entirely sure what they're going to be about. Uh, well, um, I'm going to put a link down to the Discord below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'd really love to see the channel grow. And um, have a good one. Adios.